Hi guys, I'm here to give you my review of Spartacus. Uh, now, Spartacus uh, Libertus, the newest episode from Spartacus Vengeance, uh, featured the return of one of my favorite characters from Gods of the Arena. Um, uh, and the whole premise of this episode is that after Spartacus brings back Navia from the mines, uh, he makes allies with a Roman who uh, gives them shelter in his old defunct house. Uh, and from that old Roman, Spartacus learns that Crixus and Onomania, yeah, and Onomaeus are still alive and are said to be executed in the arena. And then Spartacus stages yet another possible rescue. Um, now, I love the opening scene of this uh, episode because you get, you know, the big fight in the arena, then you get the showing of Gannicus, and then uh, they rewind to show you exactly what the heck went on when, um, before the arena uh, was opened up to have the death of Crixus and Onimaeus, and a third guy whose name I don't know. Who tragically died in the arena. Um, so you see that, you know, Gannicus comes back. He uh, offers to be the fighter who takes out the two other um, members of Spartacus's group in the arena. You also find out that, you know, Alithia is positively uh, wet with excitement that uh, she may have a uh, chance to when Varinius's hand in marriage, if she can absolve her marriage to Glavia. Um, now, I think that this is hilarious, because in my mind, what I'm thinking is, if she succeeds in getting her marriage absolved, she is going to be the one chick you don't mess with. Like, you shouldn't mess with her if she gets this marriage, because this guy, Varinius, has so much power that it's impossible to be able to not have a controlling stake in, you know, how Capua runs. Um, and so, with all that going on, Spartacus decides that he wants to do the rescue mission, and the rescue mission is pretty simple. Dress up as guards, let the boys fight against each other for a while, uh, and then secretly have, you know, Spartacus as a girlfriend, uh, you know, get some oil or some tar, and set the, uh, the beams that hold together the arena seats afire. Thus, when the, uh, the beams are on fire and the wood no longer supports it, uh, you know, people in the arena fall through, thus showing, uh, Capua the might of Spartacus and his underground band of slaves. Uh, I really like that as an idea, although it seems like a pretty weak plan, because people know what Spartacus looks like. I would say that it would be highly likely that Spartacus would be discovered before any of this is pulled off, but again, this is fiction, uh, a fictional account of historical events, so you know what, I'm going to let it drop. Anyway, so that's basically how the plan's executed, and the reunion between Gannicus and Onimaeus is one for the ages. I've always wanted to see Onimaeus in the arena again, not fighting in the pit, in the actual arena, taking on another gladiator. And this week I sort of got my wish. Because Gannicus and Onimaeus threw down. Um, you know, while well, Crixus got punished by getting stabbed repeatedly different times during fights. Um, but, you know, I like watching, you know, Onimaeus show his skills against Gannicus. And there are a couple times there was like, oh, crap, Gannicus might lose. Um, but, you know, it was really stupid for me to have to sit back and watch Spartacus just stand there. And, and as, you know, one of his uh, partners or compatriots died from the stab wounds because he didn't move soon enough, um, you know, that was stupid to me. The second he knew that his guy was in trouble of dying, 
he should have jumped in regardless whether the beams were, you know, set and everything or not, you know, because that's your guy. You need as many men as you possibly can. No matter how many slaves you're free, it's going to take forever to train them to be gladiators um, and soldiers. So, you know, that part of it I didn't like. The most exciting part of the entire episode had nothing to do with Spartacus's plan to free Onimaeus and Crixus, but everything to do with what happened once the fire started and people started dying in flames uh, in the uh, in in the arena seats. Um, you know when the the stadium was being attacked by the uh, flames. And the political higher ups in Alithia's crowd started to disperse. I was shocked to see that um, a, a beam had fallen onto Alithia's father, and Glabia, Glabia was right there to help uh, if he wanted to. And he's like, you know what? No, because surprise, I knew about Alithia's plan all along, and I'm not letting her absolve this marriage. Uh, and the look on Glaber's face when he told Lithy that, you know, her father had passed away was one of not only glee, but also greed. Like, I caught on to your snivelling little plan, you twisted little brat, and now you're going to suffer by having to be my husband for all eternity. And Verinius's plan, I plan going up in smoke, and him looking up approvingly like, yep. You didn't really see that going to happen, but it's going to happen for you, and you're stuck now. I can't help you out of this. That was great. Now, my hope is that, you know, by season's end, Glaber, you know, has to die by Spartacus's hand. But I'm pretty sure that Glaber is a long-term enemy of Spartacus, and uh, one that's not going to go away quietly. And even though that Spartacus got this large victory, what cost does this victory come at? I want to know. Like, what's the next move now? You know, I don't really see um, Asher coming to join the group. Or, you know, them easily finding out where Spartacus is. So how's all this going to get resolved? You know, who's going to come into town that's just going to completely change the game? You know that... Uh, Lucretia isn't really going to reveal her colors anytime soon. So how is all this going to be resolved? I'm really curious. What did you guys think about this episode? I personally loved it because it was the first time one of uh, Sparkus' plans this season didn't go entirely belly up. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. Uh, and... Um, Please make sure to check out Jupiter's Roosters podcast on these episodes so you can get even more in-depth analysis to how the episode went. Um, until then, keep enjoying Spartacus, and I will see you guys next time.